Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the character named Dupe from the X-Men. A really neat character and one that I think everyone should know more about. He is a little bit more of an obscure character in the Marvel Comics world and we'd like to flesh out his character a little bit today. According to Captain America, the US government created him in a secret Cold War weapons project. Seemingly unable to learn English, he spoke an alien language which somehow almost everyone understood or managed to learn anyway. Allegedly, he had a role in the fall of communism in the Eastern Bloc. He has a mother named Mama Dupe, with whom he seems to have a difficult relationship. Later on, Dupe joined the mutant team X-Force as their official videographer. Soon afterward, most of the X-Force died, and the survivors, including Dupe, became X-Statics. There was some suspicion, however, that he had a hidden agenda, but if so, nothing ever came of it. He became a popular member whose line of official merchandise sold quite well. In Static X's adventure, Dupe's brain exploded. His teammates and the Avengers competed to find the scattered parts and reassemble them. Able to function with his secondary brain, Dupe fought Thor for the last part and restored his primary brain. However, Duke would later die in a hail of bullets, as did the rest of X-Statics on their final mission. Later, however, when a group of X-Men were on a mission in space, Polaris witnessed a strange thing in space, which was later revealed to be Dupe. After M-Day, the now depowered Glazer also apparently saw Dupe through his telescope. Dupe then fell from space to Earth, crashing in Costa Rica in close proximity to Polaris and Havoc revealing himself as Dupe, alive but deformed. Dupe had a strange behavior acting like a child, continuously attacking Havoc, who was uncomfortable with him, and apparently talking only to Polaris, who jokingly called him Dap. Eventually, Havoc tried to destroy Dupe, causing Dupe to encapsulate both a nearby leopard queen and Polaris within himself and shoot off into space. The two women were instantly captured by Apocalypse in his ship, while Dupe was ejected back into space. After the fallout between Cyclops' utopian X-Men and Wolverine's side, Dupe joined the latter, becoming the receptionist of the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. His role was clearly contested by the school staff, as he appeared to be a thief, lazy, and also useless. However, he really was busy at school, asked by Logan to take care of the threats he could not handle with his own responsibility. He was seen battling various enemies, receiving even the help of Howard the Duck. Dupe apparently comes from a place called Marginalia, the world between worlds and a place that begins where the story ends. When the mutant-only nation of Krakoa formed, Dupe apparently joined, as well as rejoined the X-Men. Now, Dupe's powers seem to appear as needed. They could be magical, psionic, or cosmic in nature. It has been said that Dupe is an extra-dimensional being. Dupe apparently is a genius with great intelligence and additionally possesses incredible mental powers, even when his brain is broken into pieces. For example, he can levitate dozens of people who are far away, throw incredible rays of energy, use his mental powers to avoid teleportation, and control Russians, since they apparently love him. He also has omniscience. Apparently, Dupe's mind is full of information for some reason, and this ability allows him to know a lot of things. As a leader, he saw Rays for the first time and already knew things all about him. He can levitate and actually just flat out fly. Dupe can manipulate gravitons to float in space or fly quickly. Dupe can move fast enough for even Thor to react to his attacks. He could also shift his form to heal wounds. When dispersed, parts of his body could reassemble themselves. For some reason, parts of his brain could not reassemble, possibly because of a redundant brain in his lower torso. After a strong energy blast from Havoc, if he is in fact DAP, he was able to restructure himself and to leave in a gel aspect carrying two humans. He also has superhuman strength. Du possesses 100 plus class strength, whose limit is unknown. Even when Dupe was weakened, he was powerful enough to match or even overcome Thor in strength. 
Doop has incredible superhuman resistance, and his body is powerful enough to have survived such thing as the hammer being stuck in his brain, falling from outer space to Earth, receiving Thor's blows and other attacks. Doop can survive in the vacuum of space without breathing as well. He has an accelerated regenerative factor. Doop can heal from incredibly serious wounds in a few seconds. He also doesn't seem to bleed whatsoever. Doop can probably regenerate any part of his lost body, even after being disintegrated or killed. Doop apparently also has an ability to resurrect, even after receiving damage to his primary brain and being shot dead. When he returned to Earth, he seemed to have revived. Doop can also assimilate objects, usually by mouth, but also holes forming and closing from his own body, and send them into another dimension called Doop Land for storage. Dupland has sufficient differences from many other dimensions. This dimension seems to vary in space, time, and also depending on the people contained. Dupe was able to absorb the hammer and drop a large number of exactly the same hammers, which even responded to Thor's call, although they proved not to possess the resistance of the original. Apparently Dupe can eject hundreds of dupes from inside his body, in addition to having strange monsters inside the dupe space. The objects that Dupe creates, duplicates, retain all their properties. Dupe has demonstrated incredible reflexes and speed, performing a large number of actions. At one point, he was able to dupe space and take out his entire team in less than a second, without noticing that they had been there. Dupe can also control his size and shape at will, becoming smaller or larger. He has shown that he can inflate his body to become giant and cushion the fall of even Wolverine and other characters. Dupe can inflate his body to completely unknown limits. He also has the power of energy projection. When Dupe was contained, he opened his mouth and released a strange light that released him. Captain America affirmed that Dupe has only demonstrated a small part of his potential and that he could easily destroy the world. Dupe is aware of the margins of the comic and the real world. He has even shown that he has the ability to travel between the margins of the pages from one side to the other and time travel. It has been said that his ability can dig the real world and allows Dupe to travel between time and space to Dupe space. This world has also been called Marginalia, the world between worlds, the world that begins where the story ends. Dupe can use his power to travel through space and time, allowing Dupe to go anywhere at any time. As a result of his existence, Dupe seems to possess the ability to break the fourth wall, traveling between comics. One of the silliest aspects of Dupe is that he has the ability to apparently fall in love. It is said that if he gives you his love eyes, it is only his way of showing affection. Among other abilities, Dupe has the ability to generate explosions of psychic fire. He can create psionic blasts and lasers of energy unknown. He was able to project havoc on a tree and knock him down. Psionic shields are also something Dupe can do. Dupe could protect himself and others nearby from telepathic and psionic probes. He also cannot be displaced in time due to his fourth wall ability. Dupe is also immune to psionic attacks but Duke can also constantly generate short-range energy pulses that disable the psionic powers around him. And another weird aspect to his character is that he can use other people's magic. Using a spark of magic's magic, he was able to perform his very own magic. Dupe, out of all the characters in the Marvel world, has the power of the funk. Dupe mastered this power and used it on several different occasions, defeating both Master Pandemonium and Swarm, and even the Devil himself. Now among the abilities that he has shown thus far, he is also a professional level videographer, he's an investigator, he's also bilingual, being able to speak an alien language and many other alien language, but also learned English so that he could speak with Kitty Pride. He also has mystical knowledge. Having knowledge of magic and mysticism, he also seems to know how to use a kind of dupe witchcraft like the one used to go to Mama Dupe. Dupe is not without his weaknesses. Reportedly, and they don't cover it in the comics, it actually requires consistent and specialized medical care for Dupe to live. 
which is understandably also horrendously expensive. Occasionally, Dupe will have his own weapons. He has an electric bass guitar and his amps so that he can use the power of the funk. He also owns a ultimate nullifier and it's not really sure if it's a replica or not. He has a submachine gun which he can use to load living bees in its chamber as ammunition. Dupe can bring virtually any item due to its dimensional abilities. A chainsaw briefly used bowling balls to attack Nazi bowling enthusiasts and formerly a baseball bat. And if you have any desire to find out what Dupe is saying in the comic books, there is a Dupe translator out there to decipher everyone's favorite comic book cameraman. In the comics, it was also strongly hinted that he practiced some sexual encounters with Warbird, and he even teaches advanced mutant sexuality at Xavier's school at one point. He is actually shown teaching the lesson living and loving in your mutant skin. He has expressed feelings for Kitty Pride, asking her to marry him, offering her even a ring, taking her on a date, learning to speak English, and trying to even hypnotize and seduce her. And if you didn't know it already, Marvel actually kind of stole an idea here, a copycat of Slimer in the Ghostbusters series. Anyway, this is our take on Dupe. Thanks again for watching Review With You. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. Also, if you have any ideas for any kind of videos, please just write that down below in the comment section. We sure appreciate that. As always, Excelsior, and have a good day.